Hello, this is Katrina at Halloween Life. Today I'm going to start on making a witch's cauldron using a um, five foot beach ball. Um, last year I made this one and I actually put the lights inside of the great stuff. It looks great in the dark. Uh, I put a few beach ball, not beach balls, a few ping pong balls in there for um, a few extra bubbles and the paint is coming off of some of them. It held up last year, no problem. Worked great, looks really good in the dark. Uh, the only problem I have is once those lights go, they're gone. Um, but yeah, I, I actually liked it. Done really great for what I wanted it for. Um, this year, and even last year, I wanted a huge cauldron, like a witch would actually stand next to like a human size witch and be able to stir. Of course, I couldn't find any. So now I'm making one of my own. I'd love to be able to just sit the lights under it and change the lights out every year, whenever or whenever they go out every few years. I'm going to paper mache this ball. So it's gonna be a huge paper mache project. I'll waterproof it and everything. Um, I did get a fog machine, a huge fog machine when I was at Trans World from uh, Froggies. So that won't be here until July. So if I can figure out how to incorporate that into the cauldron because it's uh, one that blows bubbles, the bubbles with the smoke inside. I'd like to possibly put a hole in it, run the run a hose into it and have the bubbles full of smoke coming out of the top of the cauldron. Uh, it did take me an hour and a half maybe to blow this balloon up. <laughs> and I did not physically do it because I don't have the lung capacity for that. I used a 120 volt inflator. And even with this, it still took quite a bit of time. Um, I put the, um, the tube, I put it on the downside and I actually have, <laughs> hello. Okay. Phone calls over. Okay. So I did put the, uh, tube. <laughs> Okay, so this time the ringer is going off. <laughs> okay, so I did put the tube to the um, to the ball down into the pool, and I'm using a a kitty size pool. Uh oh, if you can see it, and that's what I've done. Um, that's what I've done quite a few of my um, paper mache products in because it's going to keep this ball from blowing away on me and yes it has blown away so and luckily i had kids who had a good time chasing it down the street so uh i guess i'll get started on it i don't know how long it's going to take me i do have a day job so you know i'll just do it here and there and see where things go
finally I have enough layers on the bottom of the cauldron to uh, let the balloon down. So I'm going to let the balloon down and I have a, a piece of yarn because I don't know what I've done with my string. Uh, I have a piece of yarn tied around it to kind of try to keep it even. I'm not really worried about the top being a little lopsided. So, and the balloon for me actually, the beach ball for me actually worked better than the balloon with the balloon. And I don't have a video of it, I'll put one up later. Uh, the balloon kept deflating. And this ball has been up for maybe three weeks. The only reason it took me three weeks is because it's it's been raining here. So I, I couldn't get the bottom to uh, to dry out because of all the moisture in the air. So finally, I have a nice bright sunny day and I'm out here and I'm able to work on it a little more. Um, if it wasn't for the rain, then I probably could have finished it in a week. All the layers down there, not the complete project. Hopefully this doesn't take as long to deflate as it did to inflate. So the ball is coming out pretty clean so i will be able to use it for another project again thank goodness uh the balloon was a one-time deal ah. and the inside looks really good i hate to move my camera and mess it up so Luckily, I had another phone. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Dremel tool and um, try to kind of cut the ragged part off the top.
ended up getting my pool noodles. Be sure to take the sticker off of them if they have stickers. Finally. <laughs> so after much struggle, I am now going to paper mache the top part, six layers.